these prompts are powerful. This is the ultimate prompt playbook for AI-generated images. We'll be using Midjourney, Leonardo AI, and even Adobe Firefly. This is truly prompt power. Now, the cool thing about these prompts is that they can all be interchangeable. So when I show you one for Midjourney, Leonardo AI, or Firefly, they can be used for the other AI apps as well. So try them in a multitude of AI apps. But this ultimate prompt playbook isn't just any ordinary playbook. These are prompts that generate prompts. In fact, that's why it's called a prompt playbook for a reason, because these prompts actually generate prompts. For some amazing prompts, click the link in the description. It's the ultimate prompt engineering machine. So today, it's all related to AI images. Thanks, Eric. And so a lot of these prompts I've created myself, but then there are also many of these prompts that I didn't create and I found. Since I'm on a constant lookout for prompts, the constant creation process of creating my own prompts, I'll be doing this for every single category. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. The goal of these prompt generators is to help you generate and craft anything you want relating to AI art. But you'll want to make sure you watch this whole entire video because if if you just simply copy and paste the links, they're not going to work for you. You need to know exactly how they work. Okay, to start, here's my Airtable database where I house all of my prompts. These are all the ones I'm going to be sharing with you today. And you can find many of these prompts with the link in my description on this webpage right here. All you have to do is just click and open up each of these drop boxes, and then you can just copy and paste them and then use them however you want. Over 100 prompts on this one right here. You could also get access for all 1,300 of these prompts, which consist of every single major category. You can click the link in my description, and then you could also get access to this. So with that said, let's go ahead and go with the first one. Now, this one can be used for any sort of platform. If I test it in one, you could also try it in another app. Okay, so let's go ahead and come over here to uh, ChatGPT and make sure if you have any plugins that could interfere with it to select that off. And for all these prompts, you could use either 3.5 or 4, but depending on what model of GPT you choose, you might get a different sort of result and one might perform better than the other one. And I'm going to go ahead and then paste this prompt in. So you could see at the bottom of my screen, it says, act as a digital art curator with expertise in AI generated images, okay? All you're gonna do here at the bottom is just provide it with the subject and then the style. So right now I have supercar photorealistic, but let's just change this up. And we'll just say elephant photorealistic and then hit the send button. Now watch this, it's gonna go ahead and create prompts for you. And so here it is, it says mid journey with the prompt. So then what we'll do is we'll take these prompts and do you notice how chat GPT is basically saying mid journey, stable diffusion. Don't really worry about the title because you could actually take each and every one of these prompts and put them into any single app that you want. They're all interchangeable and they can all be cross-referenced across any AI app. Let's just go ahead for an example and then choose one of these. Okay, so pretty cool. The first one that was done was Leonardo AI. Now check these out right here. Awesome job. And I'm using the uh, photo real cinematic and then I can just open up and expand it. Okay, mid journey's done. I'll let's hop over here and then open these up. Open up in browser, get a closer look. Pretty good. These look more of like a illustration slash painting. Okay, now this next one is a little bit different. This is actually from the creator Chain Brain, which I was kind of blown away. I actually just tried this for the first time today. And to say the least, I was pretty impressed. And check this out. So you could see the prompt over here. Here it says you will now act as a pollinations image generator. So what exactly is pollinations? It's a website pollinations AI. But the cool thing about this is that it's going to generate it for you directly within ChatGPT itself. So if we come back over here to the prompt, you can see exactly what it says. You'll act as an image generator. You'll describe what you want, and then it's going to automatically present to you an image right within ChatGPT itself. Watch this. So now that I'm over here in GPT, look what it did for me. I went ahead and pasted the prompt right here. Okay. Now, once you paste this prompt in, it asks you what should the image be about. All I said was, photorealistic supercar in a modern city at night. Now check this out. Now just like that, it automatically provided me with the image within ChatGPT itself. So if you like this item, you can actually right click to download it, save your image into your downloads, and then you can open it up. The next one, all I did was a cinematic photo of a woman at the beach, and then it gives me the expanded description. It gives me the photo right here, but here's the cool thing to keep in mind. Once you give it the topic that you want, this expanded description can also be used in Mid Journey or Leonardo AI. So check it out. Cinematic shot of a woman standing on a pristine beach, her silhouette framed against the setting sun with waves gently lapping at her feet. So go ahead and copy that. That one or you can come up here and actually copy the one for the realistic supercar go ahead and do that one head back over to mid journey and now paste this prompt in directly in the mid journey and then do the same thing in leonardo ai man now check this one out look what it made for me over here in leonardo ai so pretty cool so i use this prompt that i got from chain brain and then the prompt gave me a pollinations.ai image 
then I just copied and pasted that extended description, made it my prompt, and then just pasted it into Leonardo AI. And you could do the same thing across the board. Now look at the ones that Midjourney made right here. These are awesome. These are impressive. Look at this. I really like all these. I don't think there's one I dislike. So that's pretty cool how you can do that. So remember, copy and paste the prompt in, and then give the details of what the image should be about. Now you have the image, but then you, what you want to do is just copy and paste this expanded description, and now use that as your prompt for Midjourney, Leonardo AI, or any other app. So now this next one is a super prompt that originally was crafted for Leonardo AI, but I just want to show you guys that you can actually use it for Adobe Firefly too. If you haven't seen this super prompt yet, click the video that you see right here. What we're going to do is try it in Firefly right now though. Back over here in Adobe Firefly, now this is an extremely long prompt. Just copy and paste the whole entire thing, okay? It's a long one, but nonetheless, it knows exactly what you're talking about. And so the creator of this prompt, there's actually a link in my description in the other video I did, which I'll link to that video in my description. So I just went ahead and pasted the prompt in directly as it is. ChatGPT just responds with, yeah, I'm ready. Let it just finish it up. Now just provide it with one simple keyword. It's that simple. And I'll just choose modern house. Look at that. Pretty impressive and pretty cool. Modern house in Adobe Firefly. And it looks pretty good. And then you can see it gave me the other three prompts right here. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next prompt. This next prompt was made from AIfire.co. So kudos to them for making this prompt. And again, this is a very long one right here. So then it says, let's get started. Please provide me with the subject for the image you'd like to generate. Remember, you can include the optional parameter dash P if you want the image to be a photograph. Now this prompt is going to work best in mid journey. So let's go ahead and do this. So what I did was I entered the parameter of dash P ultra realistic Hawaiian beach scene. And then just like that, it gives me the imagine prompt right away. Okay. So the next one I'll do same parameter, hyper realistic documentary style photo of a woman in the mountains. Hit that imagine prompt and paste that in. So you can see, I have both of these entered in the mid journey. Here is the one for the realistic beach scene. And so since that one kind of looked like more of a illustration, I'm going to go ahead and try this one without the parameter of that dash P. And so while that's thinking, let's go ahead and look at this one we asked it to create right here with the documentary style photo of a woman in the mountains. How'd this turn out? This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, very cool. I like this a lot. This looks very good. Woman documentary style in the mountains and in the mountains with the snow caps. I like that so far. Okay, now moving on to the next prompt. This prompt was also created by AIfire.co. Pretty long prompt, and this is going to be specifically used for mid journey as well. And so you can see I copied and pasted this whole entire prompt right here. Okay, so the first time I tried using this prompt, you can see I got an invalid parameter up here because it said it didn't recognize these parameters. Let's just go ahead and copy and paste the prompt in without those parameters. Okay, mid journey's done. Now check this out. Okay, this is pretty cool. I like this dynamic, especially with the sun shining within the branches and leaves right here. Moving on, let's go ahead and go to our next prompt. This one is one of my favorites right here. I need you to become the ultimate prompt generating machine. Can you imagine floating weightless like a satellite? Paste that in, hit enter, and then see what this could come up with. It's going to say, yes, I understand. What do you want the central theme or subject to be about? Powerful superhero. Now, I really like how detailed this is because it says, based on the characteristics, here's the theme of a powerful superhero. It kind of explains it in the very beginning of what you're going to get. And then at the bottom, it's going to give you a series of example prompts, prompts that you can actually use by copying and pasting. So it gave us these bulleted points. These are all prompts that you can actually use. Let's go ahead and just copy a few of these in. Okay, now check this out. We have the Leonardo AI ones done. This was done in photo real and I have this one done in photo real as well and I changed this one up a little bit and did RPG 4.0 and so like I said with Leonardo AI you can get a different series of images simply by just selecting the different styles of fine-tuned models and so if we head back over to mid journey now check these out look at this this looks pretty cool too this is the one in mid journey it did for us right here that looks pretty awesome I like the way this looks a lot kind of a distinct and unique type of superhero and so both Leonardo and mid journey did a pretty good job but for the superhero one I think I like this one right here the best now let's go back over to Leonardo AI. I did it one more time, but this time using Leonardo Diffusion. Okay, now let's move on to the next prompt. This one's pretty cool. It's a neon logo generator. So it's not necessarily a prompt generator, but it's going to give you a neon logo based off of any subject that you're looking for. So as you can see here, I said, imagine you're creating a cutting edge logo for a futuristic company for a neon lion. So you want to keep in mind, replace anything within the bracketed text with what you want. I'm using a neon lion right here but you can replace it with anything else that you want. And then it's gonna give you a series of prompts that you can use. Now for this specific prompt, I actually suggest using ChatGPT 3.5. That's because when you use it in GPT-4, it's gonna give you a ton of information that's completely irrelevant. But once you put it in 3.5, it automatically just boom, spits out 10 right away. This was all done in less than 10 seconds. You can go ahead and just copy and paste any of these and then put them into Leonardo AI or Mid Journey. Since we're in Mid Journey, go ahead and try it in Mid Journey itself. Okay, now check this out in Mid Journey. This one's pretty cool. I like this neon lion one right here, nice. 
And then we have one over here for Leonardo AI with a completely different prompt. This is pretty cool. And then at the top, we have these right here. And so I did different prompts for Leonardo AI. And for Leonardo AI, I used these are the two same exact prompts, but again, with different fine tuned models. This one right here that you see was done with Dream Shaper. And then this one up here was done with Leonardo Diffusion Creative Mode. With that said, let's go back over to Mid Journey. And I did one more prompt, completely different prompt. And then look at this right here. Man, this is pretty cool. This would actually be a good image you could use to remove the background. This one is a prompt producer for Mid Journey and Leonardo AI. Can you imagine? Floating weightless like a satellite. When I used this one in Mid Journey, it made me this really cool Batman. And so I was pretty impressed with what this one did for me right here. So once I pasted this prompt in, here's one thing that's very important you want to keep in mind. This prompt automatically defaults to the bracket of text as a superhero, okay? So again, replace the bracket of text with anything you want. You can rename it anything. But for now, it's a superhero. And so ChatGPT from here just takes full control of itself. It gives you the concept overview and then superhero name. So it's basically just recreating and generating its very own superhero from scratch and it's telling you the powers origin story appearance but the key thing to keep in mind is to come down to the bottom it says at the bottom now would you like me to generate a photorealistic image for you if so please provide me with a brief description of the scene or pose you'd like to see photonics in so remember photonics is a completely fictional character that chat gpt made for you but you're just gonna explain what you want this new superhero to be doing or the environment it's in. And so what I did is just say, yes, I answered the question, yes, a futuristic city. And then just like that, it's gonna give me a prompt to use. And so here is the prompt for Leonardo AI, which again, can be used for any AI app. Copy and paste this one. Now let's just go over to Mid Journey and then paste this one in. Okay, so I went ahead and entered it into Leonardo AI and then look at these superheroes it gave me for Leonardo AI. Here is the fictional created superhero photonics that ChatGPT gave me. Pretty cool, man, I like that. It kind of just creates its own superhero from scratch. Let's head over to Mid Journey and then see what this came up with for us over here. Oh, pretty cool, look at this Mid Journey one right here, nice. And what's cool about this, look at this, in the top right-hand side and the bottom, or actually the, the right images, it kind of tries to spell out the word photonics, but doesn't really do that good of a job. So, I mean, this is pretty cool right here. So it crafted its own superhero for me, but like I said, you can replace superhero or you can use different prompts. If you don't like the first one, say generate a different one and you'll get a different style of prompt every time or a different type of superhero every time. Pretty cool. Okay, now let's go to the very last one. We're going to do one more for Adobe Firefly, okay? This is a series of two prompts. Here's the first prompt, prompt one. You basically just copy and paste this prompt right here, okay? Once it's done, you then provide it with this request. Let's go back over to ChatGPT. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so here is why I pasted it in the ChatGPT. Here's a formula for an Adobe Firefly image prompt. I basically quickly describe what Adobe Firefly is. Now what you wanna do is just tell it what you want it to be of. So an image of adjective, subject, doing action in creative lighting, okay? Leave creative lighting. Let's go ahead and replace adjective. An image of, so we'll go ahead and do an image of a modern. Um, and for the subject, I'll just put a supercar. And for the action, I'll put racing. I'll leave creative lighting. And then at the bottom where it says in the style of these favorite artists, you can just delete this. Just delete this whole entire thing and let ChatGPT do its magic. Okay, and then it says ChatGPT will reply with a generic response first. After this, we can ask it to start writing prompts. Okay, hit enter. And now it says, here's the formula you provided. Here's the details. Now you can ask me to start generating prompts based on this formula. And I said, now write five Adobe Firefly prompts using the above formula with the subject being, again, let's just say a modern supercar and then hit enter. Now watch this. Boom, just like that. Here are five Adobe Firefly prompts that we can use. Again, you could also use this for Leonardo AI or Mid Journey. Just replace Adobe Firefly with any app that you want. So let's try this. Okay, so here are the first series of images it made for me in Adobe Firefly. Not bad. Now, another thing I like to do in Adobe Firefly is once I copy and paste one of these prompts, let's go ahead and go with number five, okay? I went ahead and copied this one here. Now let's go back to Firefly and based on what the prompt says. So for example, you could see that like the very first one here, the first one we did, it says racing through a neon lit cityscape. So look at the characteristics of what each prompt is. And what I like to do is go over to Adobe Firefly and then look through the series of options 
and based off of the characteristics, choose a photo that more resembles the prompt you're about to place in. So for example, the first one was neon lit. In that case, I might click on an image like this and then replace the prompt with my own. I'm gonna look for something that's gonna be more realistic. So like maybe this image here of the mountains, I might try this one. And now replace that prompt with my own and then hit generate. And then there you have it. So that one looked pretty cool. Let me try none and then see what this one came up with. Okay, and then there's another one for that one. So there you have it. There are nine prompt generators that you could use for any AI app across the board. Now remember, whatever I used in a video, try it in one of your favorite ones. So if I used it in Mid Journey, try it in Leonardo or vice versa. So a lot of times you'll get different images based off of the characteristics and adjectives you place in. Especially if you're using Leonardo AI, you'll wanna be careful and make sure you choose the right fine tune model and alchemy preset if you're using that. But hopefully these nine prompt generators can kinda help you out in the future in generating the perfect sort of AI image you're looking for. But thank you so much for watching this video and please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.